A firm expects to sell 25,000 units of its product at $11 per unit. Pre-tax income is predicted to be $60,000. If the variable cost per unit are $5, total fixed cost must be what? Well, let's set up a contribution margin format income statement and see if we can plug in what we know and solve for the difference or what's unknown. Sales minus variable cost equals contribution margin minus fixed cost equals pre-tax net income. So if we're going to sell 25,000 units at $11 a piece, that'll be total sales of 275,000. And remember, we're looking for fixed costs. So now we've got one piece of this, sales. It also says that uh, pre-tax income is predicted to be $60,000, which is what this piece right here is, $60,000. And if variable cost per unit is $5, so variable cost per unit is $5 and we are going to sell 25,000 units, then we're looking at $125,000 to plug in right here. So that would be 125000 And now if we're looking for fixed cost, we can say sales minus variable cost equals the contribution margin of 150 and contribution margin minus fixed cost equals pre-tax net income and the difference between these two would be what we're looking for which would be total fixed cost and the answer ninety thousand dollars